Rollins, host of Got to Have It on CMS TV California. And today we're featuring Criswell Keyboards. And our featured artist today is Eric Chen. How are you? Doing? I'm, I'm good. Too. I'm too and, good. Too. <laughs> well, we're both good. Isn't that exciting? So, anyway, I want to talk a little bit or have you talk a little bit about Criswell Keyboards. And I, um, you've used these for quite a while. I have. <clears throat> 1992 is when I bought my first one, but before when I lived in LA, everybody wanted a Kurzweil. Of course, uh, Ray Kurzweil started with the, the Moog. Of course, everyone wanted the Mini Moog way back in the 70s, but as he expanded into uh, his Kurzweil line, the top of the line keyboard was the Kurzweil 250 for many, many years in the 80s, which all the top scores and professionals were using, but they were rather pricey. But how are they doing now? Well, here in 1992, I mean, Kurzweil developed a new line of, of keyboards, and at that time, the bottom keyboard here is the traditional 90s version called the K2000 series, and that spawned all of the Kurzweil upgrade series from the K2500, 2600, and now, in 2013, the top keyboard here, both of these are Kurzweil keyboards, Kurzweil from the 90s. This is Kurzweil wow. current. <clears throat> Uh, 2013 uh -huh. and this is the PC3 LE7 keyboard it's 76 keys and it combines performance pads along with over 700 sounds wow. in the keyboard alone so from the sounds alone they're amazing sounds and they're the upgrades and new types of effects and programs from the 90s all the way up to now so you really have the best of um, the curse yeah. while in 2013 wow. and Today, I used in the performance piece mainly the traditional dual bass down in the K2000, uh -huh. but in the PC3, there is two really cool programs I was dealing with last night, and I came up with using the Kurzweil voices called Manhattan Voices in the program section, and these are sampled voices of jazz singers oh, doing blues. Okay. They're doing all this the scatting. And so I tried to combine my real voice with the Kurzweil Manhattan voices in this You Got Me Feeling song. And then I crossed it over and the cool thing about I, that I still like about the PC3 is you can press into another program called Setup and the old sound will keep playing. It just oh, won't turn off. Okay. So it's easier to, to cross over wow. into the new sound and the new sound is called that I picked was Fusion Comper, this wild funky bass industrial keyboard kind of pad thing and this gave me a funky version of part of the verse and the chorus and the solo section of this song sample called You Got Me Feeling This Way, it's wow. an original. So and then I went back to the Manhattan voices and closed off mm -hmm. the song that way with something a little bit more jazzy. So I was trying to, I didn't want to do a, a regular song or a pop song and a right. straight hit. Wanted to do something different to showcase the you technology off, in, right? in the yeah. songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty and cool. And so you, to whatever mood you're in, you can kind of change it. Right. Right. And you know, besides that, the PC3 LA has these cool performance pads right here. And you could put sounds, pitches, drums, and you can play it live and you can add them in and out. Wow. And it also has a USB to store sounds and has an ongoing library from their vast series and architecture where you could add in more sounds, store them, and then bring them into uh, ROM and RAM memory inside here along with a full board of effects, settings, easy to use, controls for reverb effects, yeah. EQ, sound, and you can access all, all this from right here on the keyboard and the performance pads right here. So the feel on the keyboard isn't totally weighted, it's halfway weighted, or I forget what you would call it. But the SP4-8 series and the PC3-K series are full weighted. Is that a full keyboard? Yeah, the K series are still go down to, I believe, 61 keyboards, up to 76 and 88. And this goes to 88 too. Oh, okay. It's just that the 7 was a little bit more compact. Yeah, a little easier to Yeah, this is 76 keys, and it's plenty right now. So this is great for recording and performance, or, you know, and it's very versatile, so mm -hmm. 
If you're a traditional pianist, you probably won't like the weighted, unweighted, or metal weighted feel. But averaging across the board, it's got so many sounds for scoring and yeah. studio use. That's and it's great. so cool to use these pads uh, for new ways to do workshops and clinics and live stuff. And I, I've heard a lot of your recordings, and they're, they're wonderful. Well, thank you. And a lot of it to do with this, and of course, a lot to do with you. Too. A lot has to do with the Kurzweil sounds. I'm really happy with yeah. Um, yeah. American Music and Sound, the distributor, and Kurzweil itself, and artist relations who handles all their endorsements. Yeah, and they always come in with something new and exciting and, and you know, bring them up to date. And, but the, the older ones that you have, they last. They're still good, yeah. yeah the, the old guy from 1992 yeah. is still good. Yeah. And actually behind me is the K2500, which yeah, is okay. another rack mount version, an upgrade of the K2000. Wow. So I actually have 2500 and PC3 LE7. So. Or you're just a Kurzweil guy, aren't you? No, that, that's it. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Got me feeling this way.